Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be using a lot of drugstore makeup products. Um, I haven't worn drugstore makeup in I don't know how many years. I do remember starting out wearing drugstore makeup um, when I first started digging deep into makeup. So with that being said, I went to um, Ota. I went to um, CVS and I went to Walgreens and Target to find drugstore makeup. There wasn't a whole lot of complexion products to choose from for women of color. For one, that was the one thing that stood out. I did find a couple e.l.f. products that kind of caught my eye. The e.l.f. mattifying um, putty primer. So I'm going to go in with that and I'm just going to use a little bit. I like the way that she feels though. She feels really nice. She feels good, very massive. We'll see how she keeps the shine away. We will see how she controls that sebum. Okay, girl, I'm gonna go ahead and put on um, the Maybelline Fit Me, the loose finishing powder. I got this one in the shade Deep. So we're gonna see how she works. So I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender dip into the product like so and I'm going to go on the back of my hand because I don't want too much of on product on the sponge and I'm just going to press into my skin so I just took a light layer and just put that all over my face so now we're going to go in with the shade nutmeg I actually was in Ulta and I called myself trying to color match as best as I possibly could so I swatched it on my jaw all the way down here and I feel like it did okay I feel like it did pretty good I might end up wearing the turtleneck today I don't know if it's calling right one thing I can say about that like the packaging is really cute is really you like it's slim it's travel friendly in my opinion I do kind of wish they had a pump to go with it because I see myself knocking this over if they sold a pump for this separately for a few bucks like five bucks or something like that I would buy a pump I'm just gonna apply to the skin and we're gonna see how she works because I've been hearing really good things about the Maybelline fit me so we shall see but she feels good going on she's very easy to blend I do like that I like the coverage of it this is a good match I did good okay girl yes <laughs> I did good and this is 365 nutmeg so we're gonna see I ended up getting two different concealers for Maybelline Fit Me. Um, one concealer is Hazelnut 55 and I think this is tan number 50. No, tan 45. So I got two different shades. I'm going to go underneath that eye. You know how we do, just kind of help with the um, highlight underneath the eye. I am going to go in, however, with my Lancome um, Tint at All color corrector so this one is an orange red color corrector that I kind of like put just underneath a little bit I'm not really sure how this coverage is gonna work with this product I'm gonna take my color correcting brush and I'm gonna dip into there and I'm gonna go literally just up underneath that eye okay I'm gonna go ahead and take um, hazelnut. I'm gonna take hazelnut, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of her underneath and I'm gonna let her dry. Oh, she's a good match. Okay, girl. Just a little bit. I'm gonna see what she looks like before I let her dry, actually. I'm gonna blend one side to see what the coverage is gonna be like because I do know that the damp blenders, they will shear out a lot of the product when they're damp. Very sheer. I think I'm gonna get more coverage with the semi dry side. I do like how the applicator is really tiny, but it also lays down the product exactly how I want it. There is no weird smell because you know I can't stand anything funky on my face. No, we don't, mm -mm, don't like that at all. So we're gonna let her dry down just a little bit, okay. I think I'm gonna get more coverage just to let it kind of dry a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna even this out. I'll just add a little bit more color. Yeah, definitely. Let it dry down a little bit. Like that. This is good. 
So remember, if she dries down too much, what you're gonna do, take your setting spray, give it a little zhuzh, and then continue to blend. We're gonna go back into the Maybelline Fit Me. Don't kill me. Brows are done. I really couldn't find an eyebrow product that I was particularly sold on. My favorite is the NARS um, Brow Pomade and um, the Benefit Goof Proof Pencil. I couldn't find an equivalent to that. I know it's drugstore, but I'm like, listen, if y'all gonna be coming for these folks, these um, cosmetic folks next, y'all need to be coming on with, come on. This is my NARS um, Brow Pomade. This one right here. This one is my favorite. And yeah, it's Danikil, Danikil, whatever brow defining cream. I love this. And I am almost out of this. I'm not sure if they still make this anymore, but it's lasting me for quite some time. So, anywho, moving right along. So, I'm going to use my Morphe primer. I'm going to put um, primer on my lid from my lash line all the way up to my brow bone because I'm going to put a little bit of color there. So, I did find a cute little uh, Milani eyeshadow palette. And then I also, obviously, Juvia's Place is on that same side as the drugstore brands. So, I'm going to take this beautiful Milani palette. This is called Outlaw Olive. I'm going to play around with these two shades right here. I'm going to do this one underneath the brow bone, this one all over, and this one like in that outer corner. And I may do this one in that inner corner. Um, now that y'all can see my soul exposed, <laughs> I'm going to take this chocolate brown and just add her all over my lid. Oh, she's really pretty just by herself alone she blends pretty good mm. i actually like this by itself okay girl mm. she's rich and chocolatey no streaking but right now i don't see any fallout so this is actually gorgeous by herself so I'm going to take a clean brush and I am just going to blend this color out to give me like a nice gradient effect closer to that brow bone. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take my, what is this, Morphe Tapered Blending Brush and kind of just pat that green right there in the corner. Oh, she is gorge. Look at that pigment. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the tip of that brush and just rounding it out. Just concentrating on that outer corner bringing it in just a little bit I'm gonna go in with this one oh that's so much better on the lid than on my hand girl this will shock you oh honey 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 you know how Beyonce say honey honey yes girlfriend <laughs> So we are just going to put her on that lid going to that outer corner and we're going to blend the two together. But when I add my shadow, I want like a nice blend of colors. I want everything to flow seamlessly together, make it look like it's melting. The eyeshadows are creating a baby. We have the deep green, then we have that chameleon bluish greenish color here flowing into that gold lashes today that I'm wearing are my Beauty by Lynn Erin lashes. These lashes are very beginner friendly. They're natural. Um, I think they're 15 millimeter lashes. 
So they're really great to wear with or without glasses longer than your natural lash so now that the eyes and the lashes are done i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this contour palette that i found called essence i mean she's an okay palette she's just it says just number 20 for darker skin so i'm gonna blend just a little bit of her we're gonna see what she does we're gonna see what she does i mean I don't see much of a difference. I think she was like $4.99 or something like that. I mean, I see a little bit of a difference, but not a whole, whole lot. This will be good for like a no makeup makeup look, I guess you could say, so to speak. So I'm going to go in with, with Bobby. Got to have Bobby bronzer. I was really looking forward to finding a Black Radiance bronzer or even an NYX bronzer. They had NYX bronzers, like the NYX bronzers. Am I saying it right? NYX, NYX, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. But uh, yeah, no, that didn't turn out quite how I wanted it to turn out. So I was like, well, I got a Bobby and she never lets me down. So I'm not worried about it. So I'm just gonna take her and just kind of blend her all over. Cause she is like the perfect shade of red, honey. Yes, honey child. Mm -hmm. Give me liberty or give me death. <laughs> So I'm going to go in, tap into the Bobby. I've hit pan on her, honey. I got to get some more. Hit pan, girl. Hit pan. She is like the best. And I'm going to go right over where I put that Ashley Little Contour. so brown girl friendly so brown girl friendly <laughs> i love her so i'm gonna take her and i'm gonna take my fluffy brush voila the beautiful finish we're going to blend everything together you want that nice soft focus finish So as far as like um, the blush goes, I did find a Milani blush and then I also got a Maybelline Fit Me cause I wanted like a cute little peachy tone blush. And I felt that this wine color from the Maybelline Fit Me was very, very, very pretty. Um, the, the Milani one that I got, she was a little bit more of like a duo chrome and I was trying, kind of trying to avoid that, which I did pick her up. She kind of reminds me of the Ambering Rose from MAC, but Ambering Rose mixed with the burnt pepper, if that makes sense. But we're gonna try Maybelline, cause I, like I said, I've been hearing a whole bunch of things about Maybelline Fit Me. She's cute. She's real cute. I think I'm gonna go in, and I completely forgot about the lipsticks, y'all. I completely forgot about the lipsticks. So I'm gonna go in with a, a burgundy, like a wine color. She's real cute on my lips. I know for a fact they don't make this color no more and I went batshit crazy for this color and they sold out of my other color years ago when they made this lip color. But do y'all remember when MAC came out with the Vamplify uh, collection? This right here. <laughs> I absolutely had to have this fucking color here. This and it was a brown color that they freaking sold out of in one day girl y'all i wore the crap out of this i think i bought this they launched it sold out i got one i relaunched again they changed some of the colors but they kept the most popular shades in this one and that brown one was the most popular shade and so i actually used the first two all the way up i used it all the way up and then when i, I was excited i found that they launched again I went and got a second and a third tube this is the third tube this is the last one like it's my absolute favorite so i'm gonna go in with um the lip that i put on earlier is the buxom i love this it's like a pump a plumping chapstick it's called the big o so i'm gonna use night moth because i remember i bought these two together night moth and then i later on bought current because somebody was telling me about current but your lip pencils, if you're using like gloss or something like that, 
when you're wearing a gloss lip pencils basically will save your life it prevents the lip gloss from feathering meaning it will keep it in line it'll keep it in check and it won't move over your lip line so if you guys have never worn a lip pencil i honestly suggest that you try them because you will definitely notice the difference She is actually almost freaking out. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love her. <laughs> She's like my absolute favorite, honey. Oh. So we're gonna give our face a little zhuzh. I love this Morphe. Love, love, love the Morphe. Love the Morphe. Mm. Can't get enough of it. And this is our look. Oh my God, I'm tripping. Y'all about to let me roll up out this thing without no highlighter, girl. Tripping. So I'm gonna use Juvia's place. Y'all tripping. <laughs> I'm over here fawning over this lip color, girl. I completely forgot. So I'm gonna use Juvia's Place. I think this is the Nubia, the loose uh, highlighter. And I'm gonna lightly tap, lightly tap the tip of the brush just a little bit. Y'all see that a little bit? Just a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that, but just a little bit, not a whole lot. Still tap off the excess because she's really pigmented. And you wanna light handedly apply that highlighter to the top of the cheekbone and we are going to make sure we blend her out because we don't want to be sitting up here looking like we just got a line of highlighter on our face okay a little bit a little more you can never have too much highlighter glow baby glow baby glow Okay, y'all, so this is the completed look. I must say that I am thoroughly impressed with this Maybelline foundation and concealer. I do like how um, the Lancome TN Dye All color corrector, this one here in the orange red, how it works really, really well with that concealer. I am loving the Milani palette. Like the colors are so beautiful. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And I believe she was like $9.99 or something like that, like 10 bucks. I'm not really sure on that one, but I love her. So I'm gonna wear this. Don't don't mind this. It's every time I put this wig on, it's always this side that don't want to act right, don't want to curl right. So I put a little bit of gotta be free spray on there and kind of rolled her up. So I'm gonna take her out before I actually leave the house. But anyways, moving right along. I am really impressed with the foundation. Um we're gonna see so i'm about to head out i'll probably be gone for the next seven or eight hours because i'm going to work but we're gonna see how she holds up because like i said i heard the maybelline is a really good matte foundation it's like a poreless it helps blurs pores and things of that nature so we're gonna see right now she feels really 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 good i love the way she looks like i said so we're gonna see i have a bunch of different products on but not a whole lot my face feels really 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 light so make sure y'all go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below i'm gonna put all the products that i mentioned in this video down there as well make sure you like give it a thumbs up if you really like this video and don't forget sharing is caring it costs zero dollars zero it costs nothing to support it costs zero nothing to subscribe so anywho i'll be back at the end of my day Thank y'all so much for staying with me thus far and check in later. <laughs> All right, guys. So Maybelline fit me. This is what I observed. The time is 1024. So I've had this on for a solid 12 hours. Um, I want to say maybe like about seven o'clock she kind of just was she was really 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 shiny she was super 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 wet like i don't know if it was a primer i don't know if it was a foundation because i used the elf 
primer underneath and then I put this on top. I did my normal skincare routine which is cleanse, serum, moisturize, eye cream. I don't know which one of the two did not give me what I was looking for. Um, I heard a lot of good things about the Maybelline um, Portland. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try this again. But I had to kind of like blot away because she was really, really shiny. She was really, really wet. Like it looked like somebody had thrown water on my face. And noticed she was separating around my jaw and my chin. And then underneath my nose here, she was just like sliding everywhere. So I think that may have been the primary, she's sliding on my nose. Along my forehead, she started to break apart too. So she did not, she didn't hold up to 12 hours. I'm just like, oh, because it looked really good going outside. I really liked it. I got a lot of compliments on it, but she started to break down around that seven o'clock. Would I wear it again? I'm Like I said, I'm gonna try it again, but I'm gonna use a different primer. I'm gonna use a Hydrica primer. So we shall see. I don't really know, but for the most part, she looked good as far as like the color that I matched myself and I like the way that she felt um, going on. Now how she feels, I'm ready to take it off my face. I honestly am, like I feel it now. But I mean, for the price point, it's not bad. Like $8.99, it's not, it's not bad at all. It's actually a good price for it. But anywho, thank y'all for tuning in and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Don't be the 67% that actually just sits and watches the video. So check subscribe and make sure you check out the next video. Anywho, so I will catch y'all later. I'm about to go in, get ready for bed. And actually, watch, yeah, watch, watch this video. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like it. Flows right into this one. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Peace.